That's another place where I can go get a cartridge. College that way we go. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, I need that. I did, I got it on video. Okay, sup vlog, my name is Georgie Grimm and I hope you guys all know who I am, but I made it to Eugene and this is like the only time I can vlog right now because I'm alone in a bathroom. So I'm at a play right now that was co-written by one of my friends that graduated from my school last year. So that's pretty freaking cool. Sup, it's the second day of festival and it's gonna be a fucking lit day and I'm going thrifting right now and I got some Dutch Bros, it's pretty lit, so hell yeah. Okay, hey guys, I just really wanted to update you really quickly on this fucking cool ass little Never come I here at dusk. That's really yes. stupid and terrible. <laughs> I don't do Hi, Kevin. What up, dude? You're on camera. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got nervous now that I told you that, didn't you? <laughs> you got a little spooky. George, you're getting a little close to those graves there. Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to 
died. And then we're going Second. to be dead for so long that people aren't going to be able to read our gravestones. Dude, no, that's crazy. Um, I mean, no. I, I intend to be cremated. I, I don't well, really give a shit. Whatever's cheapest. My, I'm going to get a diamond plaque. It's going to be held somewhere. Probably Kevin. in a museum. <laughs> Oh I'm going to be cremated and my body is going to be put into a weather balloon to be released into the atmosphere above. If I am alive, I will make that happen. I will be Icarus flying into the sky, <laughs> over the sun, and above the moon. Emilus M. Sims. Oh no, she's losing a piece. She might have lost Honey. her. Let me 
start this video over. KCCTF, which is the Kennedy Center of Arts and Theater College. I totally probably butchered that, but like that's something along the lines of like what it is. Essentially, it's a giant theater festival that different schools that are universities come to within the region of like, I don't even know, but like within region seven, which is our region that we exist within for KC, the schools that are part of that region come out and we all collectively gathered at Oregon State University. Boo, the Oregon Ducks, I hate the Oregon Ducks. Just saying. But y'all already knew that. Whoever was hanging out with me really heard a lot about that and probably got really annoyed by me. But you know what, that's okay, it's fine. The gamble when you hang out with me, I'm just saying. <laughs> You'll get annoyed regardless of anything. You will, I promise that. It's okay, it's whatever, it's just who I am, you know? But yeah, the festival, <sighs> It was a time in which I learned a lot about theater, but <laughs> I only really learned more from the performances that I watched rather than the workshops that I took, mostly because of the fact that the workshops to me personally felt like they were very like beginner level. And I feel like in my acting career, that is like, cool, I'm like already, like I've already learned the basics of theater and like how to act and how to be an actor and all that jazz but I didn't feel like these workshops really challenged me and that's not the point of workshops or at least I don't think that they are I mean I would assume that they're not supposed to be a reiteration of what you already know and of course we can't have that assumption there that says like well I don't know what's being taught at your school and so therefore I'll teach this workshop hoping that maybe this will help you and challenge you and encourage you but unfortunately I didn't feel like I was challenged enough at KC, you know, workshop wise. And I mean, I guess that's like kind of a compliment to my department because they like taught me a lot and more than I thought that I knew, which is really cool because I fucking like, when I was there, I was just like, holy shit, I know more than like half the people here, what the fuck? I was really shook about it. But like, that was really cool to like recognize that my school's done an amazing job of educating me and preparing me for the real world as an actress. But on top of that, I um, to have an amazing fucking time with my friends and we were just like adventuring around Eugene, Oregon, just doing whatever. It was awesome. It was so fun. I would love to just go back there and just, you know, do that all over again. Yeah, no, that was like, it was, I don't know. People, I get, I get, I get that everyone has a different experience. And like, I totally respect that. And I don't know, I just, my thing is, is that what I learned from Casey about theater was that I know exactly what I want to do. And I'm already doing it right now, pretty much. I mean, not the whole, not YouTube. YouTube is like a tool for me, but I want to, you know, be a film actress. That's what my main goal is to be in Hollywood. Like I've told you all about this like a million times, but basically I just, I wish that our, I don't know. I don't know what I, I wish, cause I don't know the logistics of like what goes into KC cause I've never like been a part of a, you know, program managing and all that jazz. And so I don't know how all these events get put together. You don't know how, the, how all of these speakers are, you know, brought in and all that stuff. And I personally would love to learn more because I think that there's a lot of value in that. And I think that there's so much much value in KCCTF as a festival and I think that it's a really important experience for every actor, theater person, theater enthusiast, whatever you are, to experience it at least one at, at least one point in your life. Or something like it, you know, to some degree, whatever that may be because it's something that really helped me understand. But like thinking about it now, really, I guess like what I really learned was that I need to trust myself more. Yeah. That is literally what I learned at Casey, was that I just need to trust myself more. And, you know, know that, like, what I know right now versus what I used to know is a lot more, and I'm a lot more prepared for what I want to be doing rather than how I used to. And I'm just, I'm really grateful for the fact that I went when I was a senior because I felt like it was way more fun, and it was, it would have been really hard for me if I was, like, a sophomore or like a freshman, you know, going into uh, Casey because I didn't have a whole lot of like really solid friends like how I do now in my department. And like, that's just cause life, you know, life happens, people happen. And it's nothing that like, I don't, it just happened. So it was whatever. But like, that was part of it that like made my Casey experience awesome because I was just like with a really solid group of friends. And like, we just, you know, hung out the entire time. And it was like real fucking fun, dude. I loved, 
like once again, I just I just loved hanging out with my friends in a new environment that was Buckingham Ellensburg. So it was awesome. It was like a mini version of Seattle. <laughs> I kept making the joke that like Eugene, Oregon is like a mini version. Seattle because it pretty much is. We were adventuring around the town and around like the city itself while people were doing workshops and whatever. And I was like looking around the town and I was just like, holy fucking shit, this literally looks like a mini Seattle. Like I was so surprised because I was like, oh my god, this just looks like like Green Lake area or like yeah, like more like Green Lake area. And um, I don't know, people who are from Seattle understand what I mean, but like people who clearly are not, and that's probably the majority of you, don't know what I'm talking about, so it doesn't really matter. But what I'm trying to say, and what my point is, is that festival is so much more than just the workshops. And I think, like, even though it was my first time going, and I had already kind of experienced something very similar to this called Thespian State Festival, which was pretty much the whole, you know, same thing. There's workshops, there's presenters, there's um, shows, although there were way more shows shows at Casey than there ever were at fucking state and like holy shit obviously I mean like I'm saying this and I like know that like clearly there's a huge difference between talent wise in high school versus college because you're just basically you refined those talents that you have and you found strengths and you found more you know more more talents that you may, may or may not have that's a weird thing to say that may or may not have already discovered about yourself in college which is really cool because I did a lot of that I did a lot of soul searching I did a lot of soul searching self searching whatever the fuck you know with the help of Tony and I found a lot more about myself than I had thought existed previously which is really cool so for me going to Casey my senior year because of all the reasons that I just gave you is like way better except that totally didn't even correlate to what I was even talking about before that so like let me backtrack a little bit so I was talking about how Thespian State Festival and KCACTF are pretty much the same thing but KC is like 10 times better and way more fun because you're in college you're an adult you can you know potentially drink whatever all that jazz and so it just it made it way more fun and I loved that entire aspect of it. It was really cool because like as I showed you in the vlog, um, we'd gone to a cemetery and we fucking funny, it was so stupid. It's not stupid to be in a cemetery, although I don't particularly enjoy being in cemeteries and being in a cemetery is not like my ideal place to hang out because that's where all the ghosties hang out and guess what all the fucking ghosties like to hang out with me and I don't like that and so it's like you know what I don't want to be in fucking cemeteries so we did that and then <sighs> We did more adventuring. We found a variety of like cool little like restaurants and like kind of just not like touristy spots at all. Just it felt very calm. It was like, that sounds so weird, but it was the calmest trip I've ever been on. And that says a lot because I've been on a lot of trips and like this is no shade or no tea to my family at all. But low key, it can get a little bit stressful. And I know that everyone family can definitely agree with me when I say that because trips get stressful when you're confined to a really small space for a number of days it gets to be really fucking tense and so it was way more chill than that like because I was, I was I was hanging out with my friends and of course they're you know very much like my family to me as well but we also just kind of all vibed in this very similar sense that made it really easy to just naturally be who I was. I didn't feel like there was pressure, if that makes sense. And that was really nice. And so, like, pressure to be 100% perfect because I know I put that much pressure on myself, and I do, and I know that it's fine. I'm literally fine. I just, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And I get that, and I know that, um, and I'm working on that, but I don't know. I just, I think that, uh, fucking light. So my, okay, random segue, such a random segue, but my problem with, wow, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. I was talking about the light in my room, right? I was gonna say how it flickers every now and then, and it's kind of like sporadic, and so personally, maybe me, obviously. I was gonna think that's like a ghost. Such a random segue, but ghosts really do like to follow me where I go. Also, this... <sighs> I feel like I'm on a slight angle right now, and it's kind of bugging me. I think I am. I definitely am. Is it? I mean, I'll edit it. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. I'm trying to like rehash Casey really quickly in my brain. This is gonna be a really long video because I need to like piece everything together. Ugh.
I guess I could give a breakdown. 